things. China, Russia and China. It seems like this, uh, these two superpowers are teaming up now against the U.S. Why did President Biden let this happen? Peter, these are two countries that have long chafed, as I said to Jeff, long chafed um, at U.S. leadership around the world um, and, uh, and the network of alliances and partnerships that we have. This is not, this is not something that uh, these two countries just cooked up since President Biden got elected. But, but it is he, something he that was, they have been Since he's been to, president, he has talked tough. He tried to pressure Putin and Xi. Uh, to act right or risk their standing on the world stage? Does he see now that they don't care? I think if you ask a lot of Russians, they certainly care. I mean, this, the, their economy is, is uh, barely being propped up by some pretty radical measures by, by Mr. Putin. Their military has uh, been uh, roundly embarrassed inside Ukraine, um, and they continue to lose uh, uh, ground there. Um, and as for China, again, take a look at the way the president has really revitalized and restored alliances and partnerships that were let go, if not ridiculed, in the previous administration. We have prioritized them, and there's no other nation around the world that has this alliance uh, and partnership network that we do. Five of our seven treaty alliances are in the Indo-Pacific, and President Biden has prior prioritized each and every one of them. Specific to these two leaders, though, do you think that Putin and Xi fear President Biden? You'd have to ask them whether, whether they fear or, or, or they Should not. They? It is not about fear. It's Should. about President Biden advancing our foreign policy goals around the world. It's about President Biden revitalizing these alliances and partnerships. It's about President Biden and what he's doing to preserve our national security interests around the world. That's what we're focused on. Welcome back.